it's Kelly and thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, a big welcome back to both of us since I am coming back from a little bit of an absence. Um, and I did post something about that over on my community page if you wanted to head over there and check that out. But aside from that, I am so excited to be back and I have a few home updates which I cannot wait to share with you. One of which I'm sure you can see and that is we got new floors. I am so thankful for it. But we are coming back with a bang today because we are doing the ultimate spring clean with me. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new and let's get into today's video. Second part of the home update, which Jaden is super excited about as well, is Jaden's new room. And honestly, I am so happy with the way that this turned out, especially with the neon lights, because that was a major request with this room makeover. So I think that it just kind of pulls in the room really well. And I did kind of like a, a gamer theme. He was even asking for the glow in the dark lights, which do you guys remember those, right? Only this one came with a moon. So I thought that was really cool. And then these little lines that you see, those are like shooting stars. So I thought those were really neat. Um, and so I also paired those with these kind of like galaxy outer space bed sheets so i thought that that was tied in pretty well but and as you can see i don't know if you saw my if you saw my last videos but this is like a totally new room changeover um he definitely specifically wanted this room this used to be kind of like a second tv room or like a second gaming room um but i think that he wanted this room mainly because of the vaulted ceilings so I guess this is the the cool room in the house. I don't know. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Starting in the kiddos' bedroom, I'm using the brush attachment on my vacuum just to get the dust on the blinds. And then I'll give the blinds and windows a good wipe down. And we're doing a full on extreme clean of this room. Since this space wasn't used much before the room swap, it was in serious need of some freshening up. So everything is getting a good wipe down, including the doors, the baseboards, the TV. And I also wanted to give the floors a good steam clean too. Make this better, make this right, but we're the same Even though I changed Really made an effort, promise I would change and as part of his spring clean routine, Jada went through his toys and decided which ones to keep. So I just wanted to get those put away. But let me know in the comments, have you started your spring cleaning yet? Or are you looking for some more cleaning motivation? Because <laughs> hopefully you'll get a ton from today's video. I can say yes to that Whatever way you want me I'll learn it all and I'll adapt Even if I changed up Everything except my name We will still be fighting Cause I am still the same I wanted me to be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it Try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same Even though I changed Really made an effort, promise I would change But something stayed the same Wanted to do better, wanted to be great But something stayed the same Something stayed the same Something stayed the same Effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. 
taking off the bed sheets, you may notice the new bed frame. I am so happy to be rid of the bunk beds. It just felt like a workout whenever I made his bed. And I thought it was really cool too because it came with LED lights, a charging station, and two storage drawers. And I'll link it in the description. I got it from Amazon. And then next we're giving the floors a good spot cleaning treatment followed up with a vacuum and then i'll pull out the big steam cleaner which i really do not like steam cleaning and it just made me really happy that i have a little less carpet in my home i try to focus on breathing my heart is getting a and just appreciate how disgusting this water is. Ew. <laughs> that was all just from his floor. And even though it's really disgusting, I'm just happy that it's not on his floor anymore and his carpets are nice and clean now. Gross. Moving right along to the master bedroom, we're following the same routine. So cleaning the blinds, wiping down the windows and all of the surfaces before moving onto the baseboards and the doors. And I'm using the Mrs. Meyer multi-surface cleaner in the scent Daisy, which is such a sweet and uplifting scent and it's perfect for a little spring cleaning.
because all the spring cleaning has definitely made me hungry. And if you are anything like me, then you absolutely love snacking, but snacking doesn't always love you, especially when it seems like all snacks are either incredibly unhealthy for you or they break the bank. So I've been looking far and wide trying to find a snack option, which is something that's actually really healthy for you that I can always have on hand. Um, and also something that I'm actually truly going to want to snack on. And so I came across making apple chips, which I'm honestly surprised I didn't even think about this before because I really love apples. But guys, I made these last week and I'm not even lying to you. I was finding excuses to be in the kitchen just so I can grab a handful of apple chips. To make apple chips, first you're gonna to wanna to divide your apples into wedges. Next, cut the wedges into smaller slivers and I ended up using seven apples for this. And if you want, you could also add sugar and cinnamon to these before baking if you want them a little sweeter. And then arrange them evenly on a baking tray and bake at two 200 degrees for two hours or until they're brown and crispy on the edges. Now that the apple chips are in the oven, it's time to change over the laundry and hang the curtains back up in the master bedroom, which I decided not to wash the curtains in the kiddos bedroom just because they're new, but our curtains have a few more years on them. So I wanted to wash away any dust that they collected and freshen them up a bit. And I love using the Downy Unstoppables on them. It made the room smell so amazing. One of a kind, one of the better boys I'm on your level, that's what you say But all I hear is noise, I don't have time for Trying my luck, I've been too hurt before You're not that special and of course, it always seems like there's dishes that need to be done in this house. So if you have dishes that need to be done too, let's get up and let's get them done together. It don't really matter what you do. Guess I have to tell you again. Cause you haven't got the news. Or you really need to understand that I don't wanna be your Now the dishes are done, I want to give the kitchen a good wipe down, starting with the backsplash, especially behind the sink and the oven, because those are my biggest problem areas with making food and washing dishes. Then we'll move on to the countertops, cabinets, and pantry doors.
And we're moving right along to the next part of my spring clean routine, and that is to go through every product in the pantry and fridge and throw away anything that's expired or questionable. <laughs> I also visually like the way food storage looks when there's less packaging. So I'm removing all the food packaging that I can and displaying it in a way that's a bit more visually appealing. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low, went from just talking to taking you Now that the kitchen is clean, let's head back to the laundry room to switch over the laundry. I need to take the bed sheets out of the dryer and of course, I had a load of clothes I needed to put in the wash too. Promise you won't let me
I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down in the beginning we did get hard floors downstairs to replace the carpet so to make cleaning even easier I picked up Shark's cordless vac mop and let me tell you this is probably the best thing I've bought in a while it came with four disposable mop pads and a 12 ounce bottle of floor cleaner in the scent spring clean which is not only perfect for today but it smelled so fresh and being able to vacuum a mop at the same time truly has saved me so much time and energy. Some love 
And we are ending today's video by folding the last bit of laundry. And I'm also watching season six of the Love is Blind reunion. And without giving any spoilers, what came out about Trevor in the reunion was so shocking to me. Honestly, I found most of that episode to be shocking and uncomfortable, but that was probably the most surprising to me. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And putting all of that aside, thank you so much for watching today's video, for liking, commenting, subscribing, not subscribing. I'm truly just so thankful you're here. I'm sending you all my love and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, love.